Hey guys, how's it going? It's Jamie, your crafty DIY guy, and I'm back. And there's Mr. Otis in the background. Hi, Otis. And <laughs> we are doing a craft today. And uh, if you saw my candlescape that I did, the little candlescape tray with the rocks in the bottom using that black E6000, then you probably have a little bit of a hint on what I was going to do today with these. So what we're doing is we're taking those rocks, you know, those same rocks that I used in the bottom. Um, if you saw my haul video yesterday, you'll see that I had not only these rocks, but I also got some of these flat rocks. And uh, I went ahead and just mixed them together because the flat ones are all black or really, really dark. And I wanted a good mix. So that's my mix of rocks. Now, the other thing that you're gonna need is one of these burner covers because what we're gonna do is we're gonna actually make a trivet that you can put hot plates on and it's perfect for serving. It's perfect to make it into a candlescape. You can do a lot of really cool stuff with it. Now, this is the larger, you know, the two piece. There's Otis again doing acrobats in the back, acrobatics in the back. Um, if you bought these before, you know that they come from Dollar Tree and they're, um, you get one large one and one small one. Now for this project, I'm actually using the smaller one. The smaller one's already outside because I spray painted it. You can see in the back window there, it's really rainy and yucky here. And I've got my um, my tray, my burner cover out there. Uh, I've spray painted the inside black. I'm also going to spray paint the bottom black. I don't know how long it's going to take to dry, especially with it being very damp and it's like a 100% chance of rain today. So it's a perfect day for crafting. Um, it's outside. It's drying. I'm going to let it sit out there for probably a half hour or so, get some of the fumes out. Then I'm going to bring it inside. I'm going to put it in my laundry room and let it kind of sit in there and dry. And then when it's good and dry, we're going to come back and we're going to literally glue those rocks down to the base of this with that black E6000. It's going to look really cool. So we'll be back as soon as it dries. All right, you guys, check it out. I am ready to go. I have got my burner cover that I spray painted black. I did it on both sides of it just to keep it nice and consistent. Also, I've got my rocks here to the left. This is an assortment of some of those newer rocks that I picked up at Dollar Tree, as well as some of the kind of uh, the, the traditional, more, more earthy colored rocks. I like the mixture of them. It was important to get as many flat rocks as possible because you do want this to set as flat as possible. The next thing I'm gonna do is grab my E6000 and I'm going to put a generous, generous helping of E6000 in the bottom of my burner cover to set these rocks in. Now, as you can see, I'm starting on the outside and then working my way in to complete my trivet. Now check it out, my trivet is complete. My rocks fit in there perfect like a puzzle. This E6000 does need to sit for about 24 hours to dry. I would probably even let it do longer if you're planning on putting hot pots on it, but check it out. I love the way this looked. <laughs> 